Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Methead, and this is going to be a New Year's resolution video for pre-meds basically. So I'm gonna go through what uh, New Year's resolutions might look like for the different levels of pre-meds. So maybe like freshman, sophomore, junior, and then I'll finally get to what my specific New Year's resolutions are as a senior and as me. If you guys haven't met me yet or you haven't been to this channel, I'm Derek. I'm a senior pre-med at Baylor University. We'll be graduating this semester, super excited in May. And I'm going to be going to UT McGovern Medical School next fall. Um, so to get started, freshman, um, I think around this time, uh, I was super eager to kind of get the pre-med ball rolling, I guess you could say. So all the extracurriculars, like research, leadership, uh, volunteering, like almost everything I could possibly get under my belt, I was super eager. Um, as a freshman, I think that is the right mindset to have. Maybe um, I was a little too eager maybe sometimes, but I think overall, um, a good thing to look for are shadowing opportunities. What else do I have here? I have some volunteering opportunities. So your first semester of freshman year, you should already have some volunteering under your belt. But I think second semester, you should start. Start looking for some more um, opportunities. Uh, ones that probably you could work at for a long time in the long run um, so you can get some dedicated uh, volunteer experience done. And I would say maybe another end um, of volunteering is recording those hours. So make sure you have an activity log and you're maintaining it. I have a video on maintaining an activity log or making one. I'm going to be putting it in the my dog is really wanting some attention right now. So <laughs> we put it, we putting it uh, up here. If you want to look at it, and uh, something else I would do as a New Year's resolution is to find something that you really enjoy, um, something that's non-academic, something that you can get, you know, some relaxation out of, but also some put some passion into, you and maybe carry it out throughout your four years. Uh, sophomore year is a year of. Uh, I, I don't remember a lot from the sophomore year. It's kind of a weird time. Um, it's not really the beginning, but it's not really the climax, so it's a weird time. But I would say find some leadership opportunities. So freshman year, you should definitely try to join some organizations, but sophomore year, try to become the leader or find the leadership role of that organization. And maybe also do some um, emailing to find out if you can do some research with some doctors or maybe some professors uh, that you might know of. Uh, research isn't super big at this moment. Uh, junior is a time where you could probably also do that, but sophomore year is a good time to start uh, just because your MCAT is not there to get in the way. Oh my gosh, this shirt's super wrinkled. I'm gonna straighten it out. Why are you staring at me? You have something on my face? Junior year, climax, about a year ago now, I was a junior and definitely freaking out because it was kind of in the nitty gritty of the MCAT because I took it in late March. Um, so right now, juniors, focus on your MCAT. That should be your main New Year's resolution. Um, junior year is kind of, it should, there should be like kind of two parts of a New Year's resolution for junior year. First part, focus on your MCAT. That should be the main New Year's resolution for juniors. Getting letters of recommendation from your professors or your school committee, if your school does that. If you do committee letters, I did also, my school has them. Make sure the medical schools that you're applying to go to their website and see the requirements for the letter of recommendations because some schools either will not take committee letters or they will, but they have specifics on what a committee letter should have in it. And my committee letter only requires three letters, but other colleges consider that committee letter with the three letters as one. So make sure you have all those cleared and checked. Um, I would also say for your junior year after the MCAT, that's like the second phase of your New Year's resolution. So that should be finishing up and getting those recommendation letters and making sure you have the set number that you need. Also making sure that you start your personal statement after your MCAT is important. I would say give yourself about a week off 
from the MCAT. After the MCAT, don't do anything for about a week. Is there anything about your personal statement after we start getting them together? Because before you know it, you will have to turn around and start applying, I think, June 1st, May 1st. I forgot. I think it's May 1st or June 1st. But make sure you have um, that personal statement ready because after that, you have secondaries and it's just a lot of writing. So if you can start early with your personal statement, that will probably help you. And later on, like I said, secondaries will come if you receive a secondary application and you're going to have to get those essays in. So make sure you're kind of on track. Senior year, um, New Year's resolution. So this is me drinking more water. I just realized the hypocrisy of thinking, drinking more water and I'm clearly not doing a good job because this is what I've been drinking. I, get, I think I've had two of these. Yeah. And I've had no water today. I would say my second New Year's resolution would be taking advantage of every class that I take for the semester. Even the non-pre-med ones get something out of every single class. Uh, something just kind of combat the senioritis that a lot of people have. And you know, get something out of the thousands of dollars I'm paying this semester to go to these classes. So that's a big goal of mine. Um, another one of mine is to relax, uh, kind of stay in the moment, get to know myself more before going to medical school uh, because a lot of the thinking that will be done in medical school will be kind of like, you know, quick and very directed towards medical training. And the thinking this semester hopefully is to more towards kind of processing myself, my thoughts, who I am, um, just so that I'm in my best place when I get to make up uh, my best spiritual and mental place. And physically, I also hope to be in that place um, by cooking more for myself this year. So that's another New Year's resolution I have, cooking more. So making sure that at least once a day the meal I eat is, was cooked by me at home. What I mean by cook, I mean, I guess, I guess the main criteria is like not from freezer to microwave. If I also were to eat healthier, hopefully uh, I would at least be able to have one green thing a day plus another healthy thing a day. So, relatively healthy compared to what I used to do. Um, baby steps. The other resolution I have for the rest of my year is to budget better, especially during this last semester. Um, I won't be able to work in medical school, most people don't, and this is my last semester of working. So if I can budget better and save and kind of maintain my money, if I can budget more, maybe I'll be able to bring in like a little bit more money into starting the school year. So budgeting more uh, this year um, to have something going into first semester of medical school, you know, if it, even if it's only like a hundred more than I would have had, that's my goal. Um, and my last goal is to make coffee from home instead of, you know, buying it from somewhere. Uh, you can lose a lot of money from buying coffee from the vending machine or Starbucks or wherever you're getting it from. Um, so my goal is to only buy Starbucks. Um, and I probably, I mean, you know, you make your goals achievable because I don't buy Starbucks a lot in the first place. Um, but to push it even further, I only am going to limit myself to buying something from Starbucks once every two weeks. And everything else has to come from home. Coffee, tea, anything I get from Starbucks has to come from home. Um, of course, the exception is finals week of senior year and definitely finals week at med school. I might even have to like change the ratio once again in med school, but um, I have a cure, so that won't be too bad in med school. So uh, that is, those are my goals for this year, uh, especially for the semester leading up to medical school. I want to be prepared, um, most sound mind, and most sound body I can possibly be um, because as you know medical school is not something to you know laugh off so gonna get all my laughing done this semester and <laughs> uh, get ready for the ride thank you guys for joining me on this episode of MedHead I will be having other videos out if you have any 
ideas on other videos you'd like to see below, let me know. I'll be having a personal statement video out and some more to come. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next MedHead. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.